Good morning. It's Monday, May 2nd. Thanks for checking out Top Story today. You'd also enjoy our full World Watch show. Caleb Bailey takes a look at the art of movie backdrops and a spitfire soars again in England. Now, this is Top Story. President Biden wants to send more money to Ukraine. Much more. Congress approved nearly $14 billion in March, but... We've almost exhausted what we call the fancy phrase, the drawdown authority that Congress authorized Ukraine. Basically, we're out of money. Biden wants another $33 billion as Russia's invasion enters a third month. That's ratcheting up the United States' commitment, equal to about 6% of next year's entire U.S. defense budget. It was deja vu in the U.S. House of Representatives last week as it joined the Senate in updating World War II era act. The legislation would keep war materials flowing to Ukraine. It is a real moment in history that, that we are back on this House floor supporting Lynn Lease an idea that armed Britain in the face of the Blitz by the Nazis. Before being drawn into World War II, in an effort to help, but not fight, the U.S. passed the Lend-Lease Act. Ships, planes, tanks, guns. That is our purpose and our pledge. By an overwhelming majority, Congress passed Lend-Lease. It allowed countries to acquire U.S. ships, planes, and weapons on easy financial terms. Vladimir Putin says the U.S. is using Ukraine to fight Russia. Not so, says President Biden. We're helping Ukraine defend itself against Russian aggression. Today marks 68 days Russia has made war. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. And thanks for watching, everybody, on The Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.